मैडम श्वेता इम्प्रूव इंग्लिश विद श्वेता यस सर एंड आई एम ऑनर टू बी इन फ्रंट ऑफ आरिफ सर योर जर्नी इज सो इंस्पायरिंग फॉर मेनी पीपल इन इंडिया absolutely absolutely thank you thank you and do you watch do you watch my videos do you watch my videos and just uh, before the conversation i uh, have visited your channel and i watched uh, and many times i've heard many many youtubers like anisha told me that have you ever joined hebro app then i come mm-hmm. to know about hebro app and, uh, and yes i have um, uh, heard many people that ari photo uh, is the very famous youtuber you, uh, he is doing well great i see have you used hybro app have you used hybro app yes yes yesterday i uh, used and i talked with a um, co learner so wow. yes, really it's a fantastic app sir so thank you so much uh, you have provided this platform for uh, uh, english learners free of cost so thank you so yes. much absolutely okay main purpose what you would like to do after achieving the entire english what's the main purpose what is the main purpose first uh, i want to become economically independent yeah. uh, not that much amount but at least i can um, um, spend all my expenditure by my own so i want to become economically but independent how? and so, second is but how will you be economically independent how what is the road map how will you yes, reach sir. there how would you reach there how tell me the road map there are mul- yes yeah, sir there are multiple ways if you learn english there are multiple ways uh, you can earn money uh, mm-hmm. like uh, you can and now uh, you can provide online classes first is working on youtube uh, one day you can monetize your channel and uh, you mm-hmm. can earn money through it okay. second is uh, through through uh, providing online classes third mm-hmm. is you can create pdf of your mm-hmm. own knowledge and you mm-hmm. can uh, provide others uh, through pdf and okay. um, and then you can um, um, write a book uh, related okay. to whatever knowledge you have uh, you can yeah. create a book ebook or a hard copy book you can mm-hmm. sell it and third thing is you can interact with people and uh, um, uh, you can um, uh, teach them uh, in this way you can learn, and i can t- see sir if i uh, will be efficient in english and mm-hmm. hindi both the languages i become a freelance uh, efficient translator so i can translate both the languages so there are multiple ways uh, in which you can um, earn money if you um, if you uh, become a master of only one skill and as you are also inspiration you can create an app to helping others <laughs> <laughs> but my purpose to help the people my purpose is help the people and uh, help as well as well as giving them an opportunity especially for a woman as a part time job this is my future dream i'll let you know later on but i would like to know from where you acquire all this knowledge that whatever you told me regarding ppt online tutoring monetizing the channel who how did you acquire this knowledge and from where you acquire this knowledge even i had i had no idea about this is the way all these way of earning uh, money <laughs> sir it's experience sir uh, okay. I, i have been creating video on youtube it's been 2 years i have okay. been creating video and before it i um, i um, uh, follow a channel uh, through uh, i uh, i mean uh, contact and i learned lot of things uh, sir and uh, second thing sir uh, like uh, as you you are saying that yes everyone purpose is to help others but things is that yeah. sir what i feel that you, if your vessel is empty if you are vacant okay. if you are empty yeah. how can you serve others so no, first no, no. fulfill your your vessel then you can serve yeah. others excellent 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 what do you do to enhance your english like do you talk do you converse with the people or above all do you do anything else like do you go do you take 
any online or offline class or do you read or what what specifically you do to enhance english so um, um, um mainly for enhancing in general for enhancing english we need to focus on four four aspects okay. reading writing is listening and writing so there are four okay. pillars uh, through uh, through which we, uh, if we work on that we can enhance mm. our english okay uh, but as far as i am concerned sir whatever i am speaking just uh, free of cost through youtube through channel and through communicating with people and one more thing i want to mention where there is a will there is a way if you want to learn your dedication your time your commitment matters a lot if you want to learn anything in this world very good excellent excellent appreciable very good but thank you you know the thing is that if you do not have the proper road map or yes you know it will take time to grab the knowledge definitely. you know yeah definitely that's sir. true yeah absolutely what's yeah, your opinion what's your opinion about the grammar majority of the people says that uh, grammar is not an important you are a learner as you know you have a knowledge what's your point of view regarding grammar should a learner should a learner learn or imbibe the knowledge of grammar or not what's your sir, opinion there, as a learner yes, uh, yes sir there are multiple opinions some people mm. say that it's important some people say that it's not important uh, okay. like uh, um, some people say that it's not important because how you learn hindi or any mm -hmm. mother tongue because okay. of listening and environment make you speak so in okay. the same way if you are in uh, if you are involved in english environment mm. and mm -hmm. you start speaking somehow you can speak uh, so there is no need to learn grammar have you learned hindi grammar no but you are speaking hindi so in the same way we can learn english as well but as far as i am concerned sir my opinion is uh, grammar is must base of uh, any la language i can say well that's true i also believe that because we are living in a non english environment and if you if you are not thoroughly uh acquainted with the english grammar you won't be able to speak correct and confident english reading a grammar hone or enhance your scalability in english language you know uh, it is very essential to have the knowledge of grammar and reading will help you more it's utility reading is an utility it is essential it's an essential part in order to learn english so before going ahead i have a word for you i have a word for you i would like to teach you a word you know i always okay, teach a word sir. last time i taught i still remember last time i taught uh, preoccupied and uh, another word i taught i forgot that word preoccupied and something i forgot but today i have a word for you can you see can you can you see the word exaggerate exaggerate no. means uh, elaborate kisi cheez ko aur zyada vistar tarike se bolne ko exaggerate kaha jata hai can you exaggerate your speech but this the pronunciation is exaggerate the pronunciation exaggerate. is exaggerate 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 yeah make oh, wow thank you sir thank you sir make 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 one sentence make one sentence come on make one sentence using this word verb exaggerate come on if you can if it is possible for you else i'll make for you come on yes, sir. okay if you want to um, make your uh, opinion uh, you should not exaggerate your sentences less sometime less is enough oh okay, yeah very good very good but do you really understand the meaning of exaggerate you said to me right but i'll tell you making a mountain out of mole hill have you heard about rai ka pahad banana have you heard about the yes, saying yes yes this this word this word denotes the same thing to exaggerate you know 
a small point you know exaggerate the small point okay we stick the small point that we call the exaggerate exaggerate okay sir. exaggerate okay after the exaggerate. class you go and the, the search the pronunciation of the word exaggerate exaggerate mm -hmm. then madam madam uh, Ingl uh, madam shweta tell me how may i help you do you have anything to ask me here i'm here to help you so um, um, um most relevant question i want to know as you um, asked me there are lots of ways through which i can earn money through youtube mm. but reality is that sir uh, we are um, like uh, now uh, uh, skype has provided um, opportunity to uh, do uh, to um, make a conversational videos free of cost and everything mm. we, uh, everyone all learner intermediate or even advanced level all are on youtube because in mm. india um, employment rate is very high so yeah. uh, we are we want to earn money through youtube so it mm. means uh, as you are on uh, itself uh, on youtube and you are a successful person so i want to know that everyone is just like posting videos getting views and subscribers and creating so what is your opinion uh, uh, should it go in this um, uh, improving uh, journey or what can i say whatever you want to say it so is it fruitful to invest our time like um to become successful on youtube or what should we do what is the correct way we should um, do well it totally depends on a niche what's your niche using youtube uh you know some people want a fame they create a converse video conversation video and they post on a youtube their purpose is only to gain a fame and earn money some people some people are real learners some people they do time pass i cannot say they do time pass but their goal is for a short term goal they do not have a long term goal you know they are just concentrating on making a video and posting a video they are not learning from their mistakes and they are considering that they will earn money from a youtube let's put aside this perspective of earning money from a youtube the main thing my purpose i'll tell you my purpose is that i want to do something in the field of english i learn from my mistake i not expect money from youtube or elsewhere my main purpose is to earn and gain the knowledge to be the successful english trainer english teacher english learner and i still consider myself a english learner and whenever i teach the people i try to teach something and i try to learn something from my student whenever i teach i note it down or i teach new word or i my main purpose my main goal is to understand the student their queries where he exactly falling down and to help this is my main purpose and in order to gain the superiority in english field i read because reading hone the human capability and you when you when you read uh it gives you the sense or comprehension to talk to express your thought to put front of the your uh, student or your companion or your okay so this is my point of view if you really want to do something forget about the money just concentrate and enhance your skill just concentrating on enhancing your skill that's it don't do anything else just concentrate learn something new every day either a vocabulary either a grammar help the people note it down if a if a student is asking you something and if you do not have that particular questions answer note it down and try to research on that answer you know that's how you are helping yourself as well as other and one day definitely you will achieve success Wow, this is my this is my doctrine this is my doctrine
different people have a different doctrine but this is my doctrine first of all okay sir impart sir, always I'm... impart don't expect anything from the people imparts imparts your knowledge express give 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 give, give, yes. give, give all the time imparts all the time yes sir okay, so. uh, definitely but i want to know that uh, as i know that uh, in past you are uh, an auto driver sir so that means definitely you are uh, facing some uh, economical challenges so yeah. um, financial challenges so that's why uh, and now you shifted towards youtube so suddenly it will not uh, support you financially um, okay so uh, how you manage both the things uh, like learning Uh, as well as uh, means uh, you when you started your uh, journey so have you left that um, your uh, drivery profession or uh, you uh, run side by side when I, well, it, it, by initially initially <laughs> what should i say look a smart investor a smart learner a smart man cannot shift or should not shift entire his focus from one point to another point obviously it takes time and i also took a time i suddenly not shifted my gear you know i created an a platform where i could earn something i could gain something then i shifted i hope you are understanding i cannot say everything crystal clear so that's what i did and now i am financially stable alhamdulillah i am financially stable and uh, yeah yeah that's what i want to say yeah i'm financially stable now and i am great, pursuing great, as great, as you know i am a student i'm not only a, a spoken english trainer i'm a student too i'm a, i'm pursuing uh, english literature oh wow great yeah, sir yeah my so, my dream my dream is to be a professor english professor and i want to be i want to do phd in english field wow great sir i wish uh, good luck for you and i know you will one day you will definitely uh, achieve your dreams um, yeah so sir uh, i what uh, right now what is your uh, qualification sir may i know as sir? i am as, as i told you i am in the second year in a ba english oh. literature Oh my god you are so young <laughs> to me <laughs> I have just started I have just started my education due to some oh. financial condition I couldn't take I couldn't uh, pursue my pursue my uh, education so I have just started pursuing my dream my uh, you know my uh, graduation you would say Okay sir what's wow, your qualification what's your qualification madam i have done bsc from lucknow university uh, but it's been long sir in 2001 i have completed my graduation and after that got married and 15 years i have devoted towards family and now it's my second life journey uh, investing in <laughs> learning and improving <laughs> look when you say i have i have done a bsc in 2010 so you a should BSC not bsc not sir Uh, uh is wrong here i no, have no. done bsc or okay. i have graduated from uh, 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 lucknow university something yeah when you want to denote uh, present perfect don't mention the time just simply say that action something happened something happened for example i have done my graduation from lucknow that's it no need to mention a time but when you are mentioning the time it's mean that you will have to change your sentence into a simple past i did my graduation in the year of 2010 wow great sir sir, sir. yes this is the difference between uh, past indefinite and uh, present perfect continuous present yeah this perfect. is very simple this is very simple very very crystal clear that in a simple past we denote a time that some action happened in the past on a particular day or in particular year but it doesn't matter a uh, action happen in the past how fa- how how past how behind you are going it doesn't matter but if you are not indicating a time it means that we should or we must use that uh, tense in a present perfect 
husband sir yes yes i know sir but when it comes to implementing i need practice sir i need yeah. practice yeah <laughs> you yes. need only practice nothing else you need a practice only nothing else yes okay? sir <laughs> so, sir i one more thing uh, yeah. uh, what in, uh, what things inspire you to learn english uh, why english you can do many things uh, um, so why english you started uh, your journey what? well this is very strange and unique question i can't i can't say or i don't have the answer of this particular question but this is i would say a faith a faith or i may say that this is what written in my faith or written in my fortune this is what god wants wants to give me okay maybe majority of the people you may have seen that they are very hard working they have the they have the prosperity they have uh, facilities and they got the they got facilitated from their parents they have everything but they could not find out their niche what they want to do in their life you know they no. do different different thing they do different different thing in their life but could not get a uh, could not achieve a success because because of because of because of because of i clarity. because of clarity because of the clarity life. you may say clear e clarity in their life you may say yes yes so sir what uh, means uh, we learn or inspired by something okay that person is speaking so good i must memorize mm. i want to learn i want to become like this i want to become mm. so what uh, what incidents happen uh, and you start your english learning because your profession was uh, totally different you mm -hmm. are um, uh, like and now you are shifted your education field so okay. um, how that that's what i'm saying it happened suddenly it happened suddenly oh, okay, okay i used to pray god okay that i want to do something in my life what to do what to do what to do how to do how where to go how to go when to start what to start you know the suddenly god gave me this opportunity go are this is your way go and do it then i grab this opportunity and today i'm exposed. look at the today where i am today So great, great you will you will have to find out the opportunity when you when you you must have that you know uh, a sense a comprehension to understand the opportunity yeah this is the opportunity grab it and work on that so i grab that opportunity at the at the real time and uh, today as you can see where i am this is what happened and believe you. yes sir and one 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 more thing i want to mention that believe the part yeah. which you have chosen you have to believe that okay i will one day i it might take time but one day i will be successful so yeah. believe is also there sir yeah absolutely yes, yes. then madam shweta ji i think it's time to move on uh, great to talk yes, with sir. you i really enjoy yes, sir. Uh, we'll see you next I, uh, time we'll see you sir, next I, time I, i forgot yes sir i was i forgot to um, uh, uh, no where are you from 